What's going on guys? So today, this is, this is a different type of video today. Uh, we are talking about Yokai Watch 3. And I'm here with Jack, of course, today. Hey, how you buddy? And uh, he, he's been playing Yokai Watch 3. Yeah, and, I've been loving it. Yeah, and first off, I just want to say thank you to Nintendo of America for sending the game out to me, for letting me review it. Really appreciate that. Um, so this video is basically sponsored by Nintendo today. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack, Jack is the one that played it. Um, so like what were your just like initial thoughts I mean, on that? I've been waiting for this for a while just cuz the game came out like in Japan a while ago and I was just kind of wondering like are we going to get this game? When is it going to happen? <laughs> and then when it did happen, I couldn't get the game at the store because it's not available pretty much. <laughs> That's what so I'm going to start with. Like. If you want to play this game, download it because I went to try to find the physical copy after the fact. Now it's like $80 on Amazon right now. <laughs> I don't think physical copies exist because Nintendo didn't even send me a physical copy. <laughs> they were just like, here's a download code. We can't, we can't find our Which own game. Which is fine because it's <laughs> like, hey, if you want the game, just go download it. Right. I doubt it's like too, too big. But um, yeah, if you want to play it, go that route. <laughs> but I definitely recommend playing it if you're somebody that's played Yokai, you know what you're in for. If you're someone that hasn't played it, um, I'm sure you've probably heard it's like, oh, it's just a Pokemon, but it's like, it's nothing oh. like Pokemon. <laughs> like, it has the idea of guys. What you do is become friends with them. So it's not easy to become friends with Yokai. Like, you do the stuff you're supposed to do to make him your friend, but then they don't even do it. It's just like such a random element to it. So if you're looking for that type of experience, it is that, but it isn't. It's just like a completely different type of flavor. Now, I played Yokai, like the original Yokai yeah. Watch, like Yokai Watch 1. Yeah. And I didn't think it was anything like Pokemon. No. I thought it was a completely different experience. No. And then yeah. when, when 2 came out, I wasn't into it at all. And I think just because when I like got into it, I was like, all right, this is like the same thing I just Two played. 2 was very much like they had a successful game and they're like, let's turn another one out. And right, like they just kind of added like basic little elements. Like there was new stuff to it, but it was a lot of the same, which kind of turned me off as well. But what I saw of Yokai 3 before it came out and after it came out, like, this is different. The battle system has a little more complexity to it with how you can actually move your characters around. And in Yokai 1 and 2, it was like there was a wheel, so you kind of just rotated your guys around the wheel. Now you can swap them in and out. You move them on a little grid, so you can kind of avoid attacks. And that also like will link guys differently, so you can kind of have different boosts depending on what type of guy you have. So there's a bit more like involved as far as what you're doing in the battle system because it was a little more passive, which I kind of like because to me, if you had like monsters on your team, you kind of just throw them out there and let them do their thing. Like you're not necessarily in direct control of them. You control like if they're going to do their super move, but or if you're going to like purify them if they get uh, messed up from the bad guys. But they kind of do their own thing like they'll decide if they want to do their uh like alternate attack their basic attack or sometimes they just won't do anything they'll just kind of stand there so i i think that's cool like it's kind of a bit different and you can kind of just play like manager almost so to not make this video total clickbait um i should probably ask this <laughs> do you think this is the last good 3ds game I mean, it is just for timing wise, because it just, it took so long for this to come over here, because I'm assuming they were kind of like, do we want to bring this over here? Is it worth spending the time? Because it's like, it's a lot of text, like you're going to be reading a lot, and it kind of plays out like episodes, and you're kind of doing like solving these different mysteries. There's a lot of side quests and different interactions with NPCs, so they did a lot of localization for the game, so that just ta takes up a lot of resources, a lot of time and money to just translate the game, so they were probably thinking like, is this worth going forward? Maybe because there is going to be more yokai in the future and for the Switch, so you know it's coming over here, um, they figured why not do it 
And I, I think it's a good reason to, because like you said, Yokai 1 was cool, Yokai 2 was kind of like, eh. But Yokai 3 is definitely what you're looking for if you want to see the next step in the series. Like, there's some really cool ideas. There's some really weird yokai, because there's some <laughs> American yokai, and they are goofy as hell. Like, today, <laughs> I saw, it's like a, like a cowboy pelican with, like, an American suit on. He's, like, doing, like, a disco <laughs> dance. Like, there's some weird stuff in there, man. And that's another part I like about the game is, like, it has its own humor and like weirdness to it because mm. like you don't get that with pokemon like pokemon no. is very like it's by the book yeah. like there's barely even humor in the game right it's really like the same kind of uh thing you've seen there's not a lot of like personality per se in this game like it's all personality it's all like weird quirky <laughs> like every character is like something like what the heck is this thing you know so i i like that i think it's cool like it's it has its own flavor to it mm. and it's very much like you're watching a cartoon or playing a cartoon and the characters kind of have their own weird way of talking especially the american ones in every single like yokai character they have their own little weird quirkiness mm. or like weird way of talking so i, I like that for someone watching this that's never played a yokai game, would you recommend them to jump into three, or would you recommend to get into like one and then, if you like, it, get into three? Well, honestly, dude, like you could pick up one for like ten bucks. Like, right now, it's so cheap. Like you could probably still find it in stores because, like, they printed a lot of copies they of did. that at that point because they were ready to be like, "Hey, we're we're throwing out the cartoon, we're throwing out the game, like, check this out." And it it makes a lot of sense for a lot of different age groups. Because this game, it's like when I first started playing it, they're referencing X-Files. And I'm like, what? No kid knows X-Files or cares. Like, who are we talking to? Like, who are we trying to... Like, it works for me. Right. And, I mean, I guess you don't need to know it to get the joke. But it's just... It's kind of all over the place. But you can definitely start with this game. I think it's the best game for sure. Um, I haven't finished the game. I got like 20 hours in and like it's a pretty slow burn I would say like I'm just now getting to like you play as two different characters one in America which is BBQ and <laughs> <laughs> One in Japan so like you kind of play two separate stories and it's like okay jump to this guy's story So you can get the next story and it always makes you do like little side quests and stuff before you get to do the main quests so it kind of takes a while to get going right now like they're finally together and you're like doing a oh what's in this story and you check in yours and you kind of like are really back and forth so it takes a while to get there because i'm over 20 hours in and that's just now happening so you kind of gotta roll with it for a bit but i think this one so far is my favorite one and i remember in the original game when I beat it, that was when I had the most fun because everything kind of clicked. You have your like highest ranking so you can get cooler guys. And there was um, like some bigger side quest stuff post game. So I'm hoping it's the same way with this game where it just gets better and better as you go. So definitely like a slow start. Uh, yeah, I mean like 15 hours or so like you're you're just now developing the ability to warp like you have to walk Everywhere or like take the train which takes like <laughs> actual time Like you have to sit there and wait for the next stop and make sure you get on the right train like it's it, like they make you sit there I remember in the second game. They're like oh go to the tr go on the train and go visit your grandma and that was like the story mode in the game was just like going on the train to your grandma's house so like, <laughs> they are definitely like you're gonna sit here and wait <laughs> and that's what you're supposed to be doing so that's kind of weird in modern game design like yeah they usually don't make you sit around right. they're usually like okay here's the next thing like try to keep you right keep you going and yeah it. this one it's like oh no jump to the another guy and then go run across town on your bike and you have to just like 
hold the run button to get over there, you know? Like, yeah. it takes time. And eventually you get to warp around, but you have to, like, remember, like, where am I supposed to go? Like, what's the next thing? It kind of it kind of shows, like, what we were talking about before, like, how the 3DS is, like, done. Because, like, yeah. this is a mainline game, and they didn't print any copies. No, I think they knew this time around what they were potentially going to get for sales. Um, it being towards the end of the life cycle right. and it being like so Japanese that it was kind of a very small thing but I mean in playing it it's been a while since I played a 3DS game but you see the potential of what this platform has like two screen thing is a still an interesting way to play things touch screen on the bottom and then having something going on top like that alone is an interesting mechanic stuff like street pass or like little wireless communication features like trading and stuff like that it's like those type of features in a local like wireless environment like those things are really cool um and obviously you'll be able to do some of that stuff with 3ds it's just or uh with the switch it's you just think yokai's like, coming to the switch it definitely is that's where the next game is going to be right um I feel like we'll get it. If we don't, of course, you could always like import, import it. it yeah. You just have to... Or make a Japanese account. Yeah, you'd have to see if they <laughs> would do a translation or something. I mean... I right, because you wouldn't be able to understand anything. Right, and there's a lot of text. I feel like they're going to significantly change the game for what the new one is. Because this was kind of like the final form of 3DS style games. Right, like what's left, there's going to be nothing left for the 3DS. Pokemon's moving over, everything's right. moving over. Yeah. There's nothing I mean, left. The Switch has just become like the de facto platform for everything. Like, there's never been, in my experience of playing consoles, like the system where everything is, and that's what this is becoming. Reggie's retiring tomorrow. I think we're going to get a Switch Mini. I hope we get something. <laughs> I was going to ask you if you submitted your little video thing oh, for yeah. Reggie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was all. I didn't know when that timing was. Yeah. But, yeah, I was hoping when they announced initially that when they would, like, do the final day of Reggie, right. they would give us something. I just think that would be a cool one last thing, like, do a little skit because that is, like... I think what a lot of people remember about Reggie beyond his like speeches and like right. appearances was like when he would do the little joke videos and stuff. Right. But I think like handing over the keys to Bowser. Oh, you know they're going to have something. Would just be they're so gonna have fun. Funny. It would be so fun. They got to do something. And honestly, for me, like I just have this thing in my back of my head where I'm just like any day they could talk about Animal Crossing. Well, that too. But I <laughs> feel like day. I feel like they're going to drop a console. I feel like this is Reggie's last, like... Well, going along with your thought of, like, the end of the 3DS, I really would like to see, you know, a more portable type of Switch thing. The one you can put in your back pocket. That we've, they've talked about as far right. as, like, the rumors and stuff. I don't think we need, like, a Pro or, like, an XL yet. I don't think I, that's necessary. If I'm going to get a new thing... It's going to be a mini version. I want the mini thing. Right. I'm not right. going to totally be so much into that. the, like new switch kind right. of like the new 3ds and having right, that extra little, little yeah um maybe some space maybe some battery maybe some like a little bit more processing power like that doesn't do as much for me as like a redesign ish right. more portable type of thing so, so if that happens i am definitely in yeah not to drift too far off you want to sum up yokai and yokai is you know, Pokemon-ish, if you like monster collecting type of game, if you like cartoons, and you don't mind kind of going along for the ride, uh, definitely check it out, and definitely download it if yeah, you do want to try to get it. it. <laughs> like, don't try to find it in the store, and do not buy it secondhand, because you'll spend over twice the price. Right, don't and buy it on Amazon or anything. I no. wouldn't. I mean, I think that's Just make sure of, you got 14,000 blocks on your 3DS to download it. Oh, it's a pretty chunky. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't as much of an issue for space on 3DS for right. me, but I didn't download big stuff. It was small stuff. 
It's probably just so expensive because, like you're saying, it's the last like game for yeah, the 3DS. No, there, so there's nothing else coming. This out. is like your last physical copy you're right. gonna be able to pick up, which I would have liked to have, but just being able to play it, I'm really glad I was able to. Yeah. Thanks to Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, thank you to Nintendo for uh, sending this over to us. Yeah, that was really cool. Because I, I didn't even know I was getting it, to be honest. <laughs> and it's fun to, like, think about a game in terms of a review, you know? Right. Like, you're always, it, you're experiencing the game, like, you're going to have stuff to talk about it. But when you think about it in terms of how you're going to describe it to an audience of people and kind of say, like, here's what it's about, here's what you might be into if you want to play it, and... It's not just a Pokemon thing, like, that's the best words we have to describe it. But as anyone who plays Pokemon or doesn't play Pokemon knows, like, there's nothing like Pokemon. There's, no, there's n Even no. if it's a monster collecting RPG type of thing, it's not going to be the same thing. And that's right. the same thing here, like, it has that style, but it's really nothing alike to it. Sweet. So, let us know if you pick Yokai Watch up down below. Um, basically, if you're a Yokai fan. <laughs> yeah, maybe, for the people uh, out I mean, there. I mean, I'm sure the people who are fans already got it. But let us know if you got it yeah, down right. below. Um, once again, thank you, Nintendo, for sending this out to us. And uh, we'll see you guys all in the next Here video. we go!